Hey everyone, in today's video we'll be covering the notes on the D string, specifically the first octave, the open string to the 12th fret. This is the sixth video of the series, so if you haven't yet watched the other videos and would like to, I'll be posting a link to the previous videos in the video description below. Alright, let's get started. First are the natural notes. Alright, let's get started. We have D open. On the second fret we have E. On the third fret we have F. On the fifth fret we have G. On the seventh fret we have A. Ninth fret we have B. On the tenth fret we have C. We have the octave D on the twelfth fret. Going back, C on the tenth. B on the ninth. A on the 7th, G on the 5th, F on the 3rd, E on the 2nd, and D open. Okay, now let's look at chromatic pitches. I'll be using sharps on the way up and flats on the way down. Alright, let's get started. We have D open, D sharp on the first fret, E on the second fret, F on the third fret, F sharp on the fourth fret, G on the fifth fret, G sharp on the sixth fret, on the seventh fret we have A. 8th fret is A sharp, Ninth fret is B, C on the 10th, C sharp on the 11th, and again we have the octave D on the 12th fret. Going backwards we have D flat on the 11th, C on the 10th, B on the 9th, B flat on the eighth, A on the seventh, A flat on the sixth, G on the fifth, G flat on the fourth, F on the third, E on the second, E flat on the first, and back to D. If you are still unsure of the notes, I recommend going back and practice saying the name of the notes and the fret while playing them, and don't hesitate to slow down the video speed if needed. If you're having issues remembering the notes, I have left a link to a free PDF below in the video description that you can print and use as a reference sheet. It's important to remember while doing these exercises that we are only playing on the D string. The purpose of these videos are to get comfortable playing in higher positions. One, two, three, four.
If you're getting value from this video, please consider giving it a like. And if you'd like more similar videos, subscribe so you don't miss an episode. On the last few exercises, watch out for the key signatures. One, two, three. Let's try some at a faster tempo. Remember, if the tempo is too fast, you can always adjust the speed by going to the video settings on YouTube. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 